Hello, hello. Welcome to your mind body session. Uh, today we're going to do EFT on perfection. So um, I invite you to look into your life in the past week and see where maybe you said something that you didn't want to say or you didn't show up to an appointment or you didn't show up to for yourself for exercise or meditation and um and you're making yourself wrong about that um and because you're not perfect right you're human but you're making yourself wrong and you've maybe even been rehearsing how you could have done it differently so from a scale from one to 10, where on the scale are you around feeling like you need to be perfect or the other side is that you're just not enough? Um, so once you get your number in mind, let's take a deep breath in and then just let it all out. And then we're gonna start with our even though statement. <clears throat> even though I need to be perfect, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I need to be perfect and I need to get it right every time because failure is not an option for me, I still fully love and accept myself. And the last one, even though I need to be perfect, I choose to love and honor myself anyway. Side of the eye, I mean eyebrow, this need to be perfect. Side of the eye, this need to be perfect. Under the eye, this need to get it right every time. Under the nose, failure is not an option. So if I'm not sure I'm going to do it perfectly, I don't even try a lot of the time under the mouth. And if I do try, I criticize myself after on how I could have done it better. Collarbone, it's hard for me to do things that I can't do perfectly, which leaves me not doing a lot of things. Under the arm, there's a part of me that feels like if I can't get it perfect, that there's something wrong with me. Top of the head, but what about Thomas Edison? He didn't get it right almost a thousand times. And now we're connecting because he finally got it right on the thousandth time. Eyebrow, I don't always have to get it right but I do have to get it started. Side of the eye, I choose to take action even if I might not do it totally right. Under the eye, I'll certainly try to do it perfectly. I'll try to do it right as possibly as I can. Under the nose, even if it's not perfect, I still choose to love myself. Under the mouth, I'm clearing this need to be perfect. Collarbone, I'm clearing it on a cellular, cellular level and clearing it all the way back to my past. Under the arm, all those times that I was told that I needed to be perfect. Who told me that? Were they perfect? Top of the head. I'm letting it all go with love and forgiveness. Back to the eyebrow. As I clear this need to be perfect, side of the eye, I become much more aware that I'm perfect just as I am. Under the eye. What would it be like to feel like I'm perfect just as I am? 
under the mound. I might not be able to be perfect, no one is, but I certainly can strive for excellence under the mound. So I'll strive for excellence. I'll strive for being the best that I can be. Collarbone, I'm clearing what stops me. And there's a, an arm. I'm setting myself free to be excellent and be me and letting go of any need, old or new, to be perfect. Top of the head, I'll get it as right as I can. And there's no such thing as failure. There's only feedback. And it's hard to get better without any feedback. Eyebrow, so I'm risking imperfection. So to get better and better, what's important to me? Side of the eye, I'm done being stingy with my gifts because I have gifts to share with the world. Under the eye, I've been withholding them for fear of not being perfect. Under the nose, I allow myself to share my gifts, and that's much better than anything that could be perfect. Under the mouth, sharing my gifts is wonderful, and they'll be perfect for some people and not so much for other people. Collarbone, I don't need to be right for everybody, and I don't need to get it perfectly. Under the arm, I just choose to be wonderful, which is what I already am. Top of the head, in mind, body, and spirit. And I'm clearing any doubts about that. Okay. So check your number and see if your, low, your number has lowered any bit and you can always do several more rounds of this um, to release any um, emotions that are still stuck around perfection. I hope this has made a difference for you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take good care, bye-bye.